In this video, we're going to talk about understanding dimension. Determine whether the following describe a one-dimensional, two-dimensional, or three-dimensional measure. So first, let's just start by talking about the different types of measure. If we have a one-dimensional measure, that means we can move in two directions. So in a one-dimensional world, if this is you, okay, you could only walk on a line. You couldn't walk this way, this way, you couldn't walk up up would not exist. Okay. In a two-dimensional world, you could walk in two different dimensions. So if this is you and you started here, you could walk to the right or to the left, you could walk up or down, and you could actually walk in any of these directions. So if you look at the floor, the floor is an example of two dimensions. You can walk forward, backwards, right, and left. Um, you could move upwards by maybe jumping, but the floor itself is two dimensions. So you could think of this, I'm going to write a, draw a little square for the floor, and you could think of one dimension as a line. And finally, three dimensions, which is the world we live in. I'm going to draw a cube for this. So in a three-dimensional world, this actually reminds me more of planes. Um, a plane could go, if a plane was here, they could travel the runway on the ground in one direction or the other, but they can also fly upwards, and once they're up, they can also fly downwards. So that would be three dimensions. So in general, we can measure something that's one-dimensional with something else that's one-dimensional, like a line. Um, Two-dimensional objects we measure with squares, typically, and three-dimensional objects we can measure by imagining filling in with cubes. So let's read these questions. Okay, so the amount of tile needed for the bathroom floor. Okay, so if you imagine your bathroom floor and you imagine the tile in it, does it look like a line? Does it look like um, it could be filled up by squares? or would you fill it up with cubes? Okay. Well, a bathroom floor, you can think of tiling the floor with little bitty squares. Okay. And even though the tiles will have some height, so it will go up a little bit, when you're ordering the tile, the tile usually already has a width, so we just think of the two dimensions that we need. So the amount of tile you need is dependent on the area of the bathroom floor. Okay. Now the amount of baseboard needed for the bathroom. So the baseboard is what goes around the room. So let's draw a new bathroom. Let's say this is the bathroom. Okay. So the baseboard would go around the room. Maybe there's a door here so you wouldn't need baseboard there but it would go all the way around. And notice that I drew that in a line. Okay, So this would be similar to a one-dimensional measure. So you would probably measure this in, say, feet, not in uh, square yards or little squares like you would with the tiles. Okay. Now again, the baseboard, when you order baseboard, it has some sort of height, and it does have a width. It sticks out of the wall a little bit. But in general, what you're looking for is a one-dimensional measure, you'd need to look at this line around your bathroom to determine how much to buy. Okay. Let's look at the next one. The amount of paint needed for the bathroom walls. Okay. So if you've ever bought paint before, um, you usually buy paint in gallons. Okay. And gallons are a three-dimensional measure. So if you, if you can picture a paint can, when you fill it up, okay, you can move to the right and to the left in the can. You can move in the opposite two directions in the can. Okay, and then you can also go up and down. Okay. However, um, this one I could almost see answering either way. So you'd buy the paint, and the paint would be in a gallon jug, and that's three-dimensional. Okay. But if you think about your bathroom walls, so this is your bathroom. A wall may look like this. A wall doesn't have three dimensions, it has two dimensions. So maybe your bathroom wall is 10 feet in this direction 
and 8 feet in this direction. So you can only move right and left, up or down. You couldn't move out of the wall. Now the paint is going to be really, really thin. And yes, it's going to have a little bit of width, just like the tile had width. Um, but I would think of this as an area measure. So we can say either of these are acceptable, 2D or 3D for a gallon of paint. Okay. Next we have the depth of a bathtub. Okay. So if you can imagine a bathtub, you want to measure how deep it is. Okay. So we would think about, I'm going to make something similar to this. So a bathtub itself is definitely three-dimensional. This would be the floor of the bathtub, and maybe this is how deep the bathtub is. Okay. But if we're measuring the depth, we don't care. It could be the bathroom bottom could take up the whole bathroom for all we know, the bottom of the tub. All we're measuring is the depth, which refers to this dimension right here. So you could think of, you could take a yardstick or a ruler and measure that depth, and that depth would be a line. So the depth of the bathtub is a one-dimensional measure. Okay. Now we have a footprint on a bathtub mat. Okay, so here's your bathtub mat. You step out of the tub with wet feet. Let's see how well I can draw a foot. Okay, you'll have to use a little vision there. And you get that part of the bathtub that has your footprint on it from the water. Well, how many dimensions does this have? Okay. So notice we can go up and down this way. We can also move this way, right and left. So it's definitely two dimensions. It doesn't have a height. It's not moving up or down. It may be depressed a little bit from the water. But in general, this is a two-dimensional measure. And finally, the amount of water that a bathtub will hold. So again, this is our bathtub, and when you think about the water, when you're pouring in the water or filling the tub, there are three directions that the water can go. So the water is going to fill up this way, um, right and left. Okay. Along the bottom of the tub, it's going to go to both sides of the tub. So that's the second dimension. And then the tub is also going to fill upwards, and that's the third dimension. So this is a three-dimensional measure.